Hello there folks, I'm Dan Prime from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly for the Dan Brown monologues where I talk about random topics and I've decided for those of you who've been tuning in for the last few months, over the last year or so, to do away with the stainless steel pan of random topics, but I'm still picking topics from the comments and what people ask me to talk about. So, I suppose, really, the whole basis of that is to stop it being such an off-the-cuff thing, which is why I introduced the random drawer out of a pot to begin with, but then I realised, after recording the video that I'm about to re-record, that it just made it a much more frustrating video to watch as I tried to stumble through and think of what I wanted to say on that topic off the top of my head. So today's topic is what was my childhood dream job and this is something that a few people have asked me over the years and obviously as my bizarre life has panned out and I'm here on a boat working part-time and all the rest of it and basically trying to spend as much time doing this rather than anything else um, in my life for as long as possible my actual childhood sort of ambitions just were non-existent really and I never really went through the phases of like the real sort of young childhood thing of like oh I want to be an astronaut oh I want to be this want to be that and I suppose it wasn't until my sort of early teenage years that I actually thought right what's an actual job that I could do and I was very realistic and straightforward in this and there was always, like, as I say, and as you might have seen in other videos, I've loved writing forever since I was like, in probably even just before my early teens. And I've got little stories and all sorts that I've written literally over the last like half of my entire life from that sort of period of trying to move up into the world and become a relative grown up, which failed spectacularly, as you might have been able to tell. But the interesting thing, I think, looking back, is that I never really had these ambitions of like, oh, I want to be like, I don't know, a doctor or any of these sort of like fancy, highly regarded jobs, I suppose. And the only, there was only one job that I ever realistically actually wanted. And that was to be a postman. Now, that might seem like a totally random, arbitrary sort of thing to choose. And perhaps it was. I can't really explain in my mind as like a 13 year old 14 year old kid i can't imagine what it was that drew me to that idea it's like just a simple straightforward pragmatic right what do i want to do for a living be a postman yeah that sounds good yeah that's that's what i want to be and um, the only other thing that actually came in uh, to like the sort of realistic jobs that i could do and what have you was being a trucker. Now that might seem very odd for the stereotype of what you would imagine somebody driving around a wagon all day would be like when you see me and my feeble arms and waving my hands around talking in my high-pitched voice on these videos but really and this is the interesting thing looking at it now with like sort of seeing how my life has unfolded and spiralled out of control in many respects that as the whole basis of Tilly was to like get away from any pressure and just be able to live well within my means and nice and cheaply and outdoors and all the things that I always talk about and just a nice simple quiet life in the outdoors basically that really a postman and a trucker both fit into the same sort of category of job where you're not having to deal with lots of people you're going out and moving around and seeing different places even if you're on the post and you do the same rounds even if it's just walking around town and Oswestry, stream my old hometown or whether you're going out on these rural routes and stuff or being a trucker obviously just driving across the country up and down left right and center again you're not having to deal with loads of people you're not having the sort of pressure of working around other people as well so you've got someone constantly looking over your shoulder it's that sort of basis of almost being your own boss and being responsible for your own failure or success I suppose and obviously I'm not saying that every postman and trucker doesn't have pressure because my goodness me they do and certainly looking at how the world's gone now it's unbelievable what goes on in these sort of positions but again, it just seems to me like now, looking back, it was my early sort of already in my mind that I don't want to have to deal with people all the time. I don't want to have to deal with loads of stress and working like amongst loads of other people running around and going absolutely crazy or anything like that. And also just actually being outside, 
So those were the two jobs that I actually thought realistically that I would end up doing. And the only other thing, like you say, was being an author, but that was just something that I enjoyed doing. I just happened to write books or write short stories and stuff when I was younger and then through my teenage years and continuing to this day. And I'm not sure how much that ever really passed into my mind when I was younger, like in my early sort of mid-teens, that that's what I wanted to do. And it never really sort of occurred to me like, oh yeah, I could write this and make it into a full book and then try and get a publisher. It was, it was well, I suppose in the old days before the Kindle publishing thing where you could self-publish, it was just impossible. It was so difficult to actually get a publisher and get a book out into the wild and then you were guaranteed no form of actual success to live on and so on. So that I think was all quite interesting. But the real thing with becoming an author as an idea that I wanted to do, it sort of only passed into my consciousness properly, like sort of over my late teen years, and then sort of moved straight on as I was writing a proper long book while I was at college, and then they, they had one of the teachers say, well, you know, you'll never ever be an author, don't you? It's extremely unlikely, and basically I thought that was very unsporting to totally dissuade somebody to literally basically say give up not just do that for fun and see if anything happens but have a proper life plan it was basically you'll never do it give up now which I'm glad that I didn't as, as many people have enjoyed some of my short boaty books in recent years so thank you and no thank you to you know who you are if you ever stumble on these videos um, but please do check out my books anyway um, anyway, moving on to that, <laughs> moving away from that rather, I think that the interesting thing with the postman idea was that that was the only, that's the only job I've ever wanted in my life really. It's the only job I've ever thought, right, this is what I want to do. And again, I was like really young, like sort of 12, 13, 14, and at the age of 14 in schools, I don't know how widespread this practice is, but you basically go on work experience. And it was two weeks back when I was in school where you literally just go to a different organisation and do the job and just sort of watch and learn and actively do it and that sort of stuff. And it's a really intriguing thing because when I look back to my time that I spent, obviously did my work experience with the Royal Mail, it was genuinely fascinating. And it taught me so much about the real world because obviously the only times I'd ever like been to work in a proper working environment was like after school sometimes when I was younger going in with me dad and sitting in the office and playing on the computers and stuff well he was actually doing work and just simple stuff like that whereas actually going to a totally alien workplace on your own as a 14 year old and working among real people who were actual grown-ups was a terrifying experience but it also taught me an awful lot. And I think it's one of the truly valuable experiences of my younger life, really. And one of the things that I just can't get over, and looking back on it now, this did happen like 14 years ago, so I'm assuming I can freely speak about this without getting anyone into trouble. But what I could not believe was how how many breaks people had out on the post and I swear it was incredible they, they literally some people I'd go out with in the van and we'd be doing like these really rural routes all through like the sort of near Wales and Shropshire area like just on the border and super rural delivery routes going to like little villages and sometimes you just find a few houses together just nothing really like just literally just drive and drive and go through the countryside deliver a few letters and carry on driving and there's literally some people where I'd stay in the van and they'd literally be disappearing into these houses like for an hour here and then an hour there and then we'd go back and that'd be it for the day and it it was just incredible like literally to go out with somebody in like a working environment and see them have three hours worth of sneaky breaks basically and I must say though I know now that the post has changed so much and it's unbelievable to see the differences just even like the same person delivering letters just everywhere well obviously not everywhere over time but all over the place and out delivering all day long rather than just like the mornings and sort of before one o'clock and it, it's just incredible to see how much it's changed and again it's a real lesson for me to be able to look back and go flipping heck if I'd have signed up to the post when I left school then I would have been loving it and thoroughly enjoying it but 
looking at what goes on now, I don't think it's the same company that I once, as a 14-year-old, spent any time amongst, which you can say about practically every company around, I think, these days, which, again, is a real, a real shame and a real downer, and definitely, with terms of what I'm thinking about for my future and what I want to do, definitely puts a little bit of worry and just that general gist of hmm, there's always uncertainty, but now it seems that uncertainty and job security and stuff in a lot of industries is l as low as it's been for decades upon decades, especially with the technological revolution wiping out so many jobs. And now that my generation, who were just getting to grips with computers when we were in school, are totally outclassed by the generation below us who have grown up learning coding in school and all sorts of stuff like that. Anyway, that's getting totally random and off topic. So, to answer the question and get back on topic and wrap this video up, what did I want to do as a job when I was a kid? Be a postman. And you know what? I still think that there are times where I'd like to give it a bash, even if it doesn't last for long. Anyway, on that note, I'll wrap things up and say thank you so much for tuning into this random video. Please do leave comments in the description of topics you want me to talk about and questions you want me to answer, and I'll hopefully get round to them at some point in the future. But until the next time, as usual, check the links in the description for my boaty books and loads of boat life videos and all sorts of boat related things and beautiful scenery on the Facebook page you'll find all sorts of links in the description basically but apart from that just have a fantastic day keep it boat worthy keep it post worthy and of course farewell <laughs>